Hello, boys and girls. Today I'm back with another section of the photo line for my Swiss River Guide. This is the uppermost section that I know, from its confluence with the Metzel Rhine at the camping ground of Dysentis to Compadrials. The photo line coming down from the Oberalp Pass comes out of a difficult gorge, seldom with enough water. The same is true for the metals of Rhine as its water is deviated for hydropower. It is therefore very rare to find enough water for a put-in so far up. Not to worry though, as many creeks from both sides will swell the river and there are other opportunities for a later put-in. The uppermost is reached by driving through Dysentis towards the Lucmania Pass and then going down to the camping ground, but passing it along the riverside. On the two occasions we found just enough water here, we put in at the lower end of the camping site. It seems snow melt alone does not generate enough water, so we were lucky that the weather beforehand was warm and it rained heavily. Even so, it was barely enough and the first few hundred meters are very bony. Once the first bridge is reached, it gets better. However, here the river splits and you have to guess which side seems better. This first section can change drastically, which also affects its difficulty, along with the water level. It can be a steep whitewater 2 or even a technical whitewater 4. This time it was toward the upper end and I was confused uh, that I had to go back and check the video of the initial trip as this upper section was so different. On the left side at the rock cliff it goes around boulders. Depending on when the water from the right flows left you might catch those even when going right as we did on the first run. From the right, a first creek brings some water, but more importantly, also quite a bit of rubble. This made it quite interesting as the water was somewhat dammed and you had to find your way around the edgy boulders down the steep rapid. This is one of the sections that will change with every flood. The Akleta from the left then brings a considerable amount of additional water. If the level was too low, you should have at least 5 cubic meters per second at the put-in. It now becomes sufficient during late May and June for the put-in at the bridge below Dysentis. You're getting here by driving past the train station and down to the river. From here on, I have run the river quite a few times and the difficulties on the next section are considerably easier. Up here in Dysentis, gold washing is a popular leisure activity. Therefore, you can see people in high boots shoveling the sand at the gravel banks. At least on this run, difficulties remained high with the corner on the left side with a cliff and a rock plate in the middle. As I remembered afterwards, we passed this drop the first time on the right. So you should be prepared for constant change here as well. Until the next bridge, there are many small creeks from both sides bringing on more water. The gradient is not too steep compared to the first section. There are still quite a few tight corners, rapids and potentially wood to be aware of. When the bed gets wider, it can become difficult to find the best route which is with sufficient water, especially when the river splits as well. At the bridge of Madanal, you might consider ending the trip as the section till Compatriales holds a white water for a rapid. However, you might also want to put in when planning to paddle the lower section to Trun or Tavanasa. Kilometer below the bridge, the power station of the side valley Rusain once again brings considerable amount of clear water. 300 meter further down, the rapid starts when a creek from the right usually only trickles in 
but it is responsible for all the boulders and rubble in the section. Similar to the first rapid, this can change. You can get out at the right side and take a look or optionally portage. I usually split this rapid in two parts. The first one seems more intimidating as the boulders are big. I try to hold to the right and then switch over to the middle for the eddy behind the large rock in the middle. For the second part the river splits and in recent years the right side was more or less cut off and had not enough water. That is why I switch toward the middle so I can continue left. The second half has less large boulders, but due to that it changes more often, even if it is subtle. The end of the rapid is around the corner and hidden by the trees on the island in the middle. There can be some trees and you can check before running. I would say that my default strut is on the left side. But due to constant changes here, you have to show a bit of flexibility. Once arrived at the bottom, it once more becomes easier, however still technical. Soon afterwards you reach the bridge above Campadrials, where you can disembark or continue on. For the section from here on down, I already have another guide. You can find additional information down in the description. If you found this guide helpful, please consider leaving a like and if you don't want to miss the next video, hit the subscribe button. Until then, goodbye!